Wow. I I I don't know what <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say, y'all. I am at a loss of words right now. I don't know what to say. Deontay Wilder. Hats off to Deontay Wilder. Hats off to Wilder. Wilder did. He did exactly what he needed to do. He won. He won the fight. But if you ask me, was it enough to defeat <laughs> Anthony Joshua? I, I don't see it. I don't see it at all. But we, we we're gonna we're gonna go through this fight, you guys, but Wilder wins this fight by KO via tenth round. This is perhaps one of the best heavyweight fights I've seen, you know, post Klitschko, Joshua. But I'm at a loss of words because there's so much that I have to say as it pertains to this fight in its entirety. What it is that I saw, things that's leaving me in question on on Deontay Wilder. And, and what I mean by leaving me in question is. Although Ortiz was not able to get the job done. But boy. Did Ortiz not. Sh man. Did he not leave the door open? And I know y'all are just steaming. Steaming to give your thoughts on this. I know y'all are steaming to give y'all thoughts on it, but I mean, wow. I honestly, I, I've never been like this stunned in a fight, you know, given the fact that like, I guess it was because I was so much more tuned in to what it is that Luis Ortiz was doing in this fight. I think it it was so much of what Ortiz was doing in this fight. And like people saying he was he was gassed or whatever the case may be, we can say he was gassed. Do I think that was the deciding factor? Mm, I don't know. Cuz Ortiz to me looked like he was in the best shape. Given the fact that Wilder came in at 214 pounds, Ortiz to me was in the best shape. The way he was working throughout the ring. But what did we talk about earlier? I said it, Deontay Wilder was going to feel exactly like what? He was going to feel like a rock star, right? But you know, it... I don't know. Phones lines are, phone lines are open, 770-742-6609. Everybody who's tuning in, please like and share the show. Give your thoughts on the show. Call in right now and let me know what it is that you thought, you know, happened and took place in this fight. But it's March Madness. <laughs> it's March Madness and, and <sighs> boy, I have a problem with Deontay Wilder, y'all. Hats off to him for winning, but I have a problem with how he won. And and what Luis Ortiz showed me was that what he did in the seventh round when he caught Joshua with that hook. I mean, not Joshua. When he caught Wilder with that right hook. If that was Anthony Joshua. And he and Deontay Wilder, I hate the fact that he sat right here and said to us, Luis Ortiz punches didn't have no sting to him. We saw his eyes, bro. His eyes was big as hell. When every time Ortiz counter everything it is he threw, even when Ortiz was hitting him to the body, Deontay Wilder's eyes was about to pop out his head. I swear. They was about to pop out his head. Shout out to Timothy. Timothy said, definitely got our box. He's going to struggle with AJ. And I said the same as that theme. And Anthony Joshua wins this fight. 
if 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 Deontay Wilder fights like this, he he won't last. He won't last. He won't last at all. And the fact that he won't last at all, it 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 stems questions, man. It stems questions. Anthony Joshua has to take care of business come March 31st with with uh, with Joseph Parker. We know that. We know that. That's going to be a great fight. It's going to bring some things out of Anthony Joshua that Anthony Joshua is going to have to prove to the people. But if Anthony Joshua get past Joseph Parker, and then it sets up for us to have Joshua versus Wilder, Deontay Wilder ain't going to be able to switch nothing in his game once that fight happens, unless it happens like sometime next year. But he won't be able to change nothing within the up and coming months. What Deontay Wilder is is what Deontay Wilder is. But if he going up against a guy who he'll be going up against a guy who is more chiseled, who is more stronger, who has zing behind his punches, like he said, Luis Ortiz didn't have nothing behind his punches. No. Deontay Wilder, you you on the hot seat now, bro. I really felt like you was going to be feeling like a rock star if you would have did exactly what you said you was going to do. But at the same time, man, I'm looking at it like this. Deontay Wilder struggled. I had him. Me and Steve Farhood, hats off to Steve Farhood. Same, we had same scorecards going into the seventh round. Going into the seventh round, the scorecards were the same. Six six two three zero two zero one three eight. What it is? What's going on? Jim. What's happening, man? Hello. So, what's your thoughts on the fight? Man? So I, I felt like you know, Wilder could he could have ended it earlier, but he carried it most of the fight. Who carried who most yeah, of the fight? I mean, I feel like now, now I I feel like it's no, it's no ends and buts about it. Deontay Wilder's the best heavyweight and the best heavyweight out right now, and he's ready for he's ready for Anthony Johnson. Hold on, why you said that Deontay Wilder carried the fight? What you say? You said Deontay Wilder carried the fight. I said he, he, I said he ready he ready for the he ready for Anthony Johnson now. I said he been ready for him, but now he really ready for him now. So so what 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 makes you think that he's ready for Anthony Joshua based upon what it is Luis Ortiz was able to show us throughout this fight, even though he was dropped in the fifth round. I believe he went down in what was it? The fifth round? Ortiz went down, but he was able to 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 battle back. And and land a right hook in the seventh round to that staggered Deontay Wilder. If if it was ten more seconds left in that round, Deontay Wilder was done. Do you think Deontay Wilder is going to be able to do that against Anthony Joshua, a guy who is stronger, yeah. who has more power than Luis Ortiz? I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I mean, he can't. He ain't gonna be able to fight. He ain't gonna be able to fight. Wow. Like he was fighting your RT, he's going to he going to have he gonna have to hurry up and prove some of that wildness that he got. So fighting Anthony Johnson like that, that he's gonna get knocked out. By Anthony Johnson be wild and stuff like that. So let me ask you this. You a fighter. And you my boy. You know. Right. You 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 getting ready to fight for a title and but I gotta ask you this, man. You really going to sit here and tell me you think based upon what it is we saw tonight that Deontay Wilder can really truly say that he's the best heavyweight? I don't even think, listen, what we saw in the ring against Deontay Wilder tonight, he would have got his ass whooped by uh, Mike Tyson or, or, or Muhammad Ali or Lennox Lewis or James Tony. Hell, Roy Jones when he went up the heavyweight what a what a <laughs> boy come on now i can you can't sit here and say what you saw tonight from Deontay Wilder but, makes put him the but, best heavyweight no but but right now 
hands now, Deontay Wilder, prove the night. Everybody said he ain't fought nobody. He fought someone that was undefeated. He fought someone that, that was on his level. He fought someone that was undefeated just like he was. And he proved that. What did he prove? He's the man to beat in the sport of boxing. And he is the man to beat in the heavyweight division. No, he's not. He's not the man. The, the man to beat. What well, based upon what we saw tonight, the man to beat is Anthony Joshua, bro. He he is the man to beat, bro. I'm sorry. If if Anthony Joshua looks good, looks good against Joseph Parker, and he drops Joseph Parker, beat Joe. I don't even care if him and Joseph Parker go the distance because Joseph Parker is a hell of a fighter, and he's a hell of a champion. And if they go the distance in a really good fight, I have no problem with that. But Anthony Joshua. Show this right here, Deontay Wilder had to make a statement against Luis Ortiz. This ain't this ain't the statement that I was looking for him to make. You know what I mean? I I picked Wilder to win this fight by knockout via seventh round, but he did it in the tenth round. I was three rounds off, but the seventh round was the round that Wilder was in trouble. And I said this. I asked people specifically. I said if Luis Ortiz shows he can take Wilder's punch, is Deontay Wilder in trouble? He showed that he could take shots from Deontay Wilder. To me, Deontay Wilder was hitting him in the back of the head, hitting him on top of his forehead. I mean, it was shots that Deontay Wilder was hitting him with that I don't consider boxing shots. I don't consider them real true punches. I consider them rabbit punches. And they were the same punches that, you know, Conor McGregor was landing on Floyd Mayweather and the referee was stopping. But they don't say that to Deontay Wilder. That's And so this whole thing has Deontay Wilder – to me, and and I'm gonna I'm gonna let you uh finish this off. But Deontay Wilder to me is not the man to beat in the heavyweight division. I'm sorry, he, tonight just it I I just didn't see but, it. But you me. know, but 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 Anthony Joshua, Anthony Joshua got to get past. If Anthony Joshua lose to, I forgot the guy name that he fight. If Anthony Joshua would lose to him, this. I think ain't it next month that they fight. No, they fight March thirty first. Well, they fight this month. If Anthony Joshua lose to him, he's not fighting Anthony Joshua. Who is not fighting Deontay Wilder? Deontay Wilder's gonna fight the guy that, De that Anthony Joshua fight. But the guy that De Anthony Joshua is fighting, he's a way better fighter than RTEZ. He's a way better fighter, and Anthony Joshua. He haven't really just fought nobody that's, that's really just talked about, but the Clisto brothers, and they were past their prime. But he fought. He fought Dylan White. He he defeated Charles Martin. I mean, he's faced a little bit more better competition than Deontay Wilder. Like, let's just be honest here. Like, when we compare resumes, although Deontay Wilder has the record breaking thirty nine KOs and 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 he's uh forty and zero, but Anthony Joshua has faced some quality oh, competition. Ball. Both of them. I mean, now Wilder is in forty and old. He has a he has a chance to break that that Floyd money make that Floyd money Mayweather record as being the the only boxer undefeated as still fight. So he has a chance to break that record. Now he has thirty nine knockouts, forty victories. So the man in my eyes. The man proved his point tonight. Everybody been saying he, can, he haven't fought nobody. My eyes, I feel like he did okay, but he could have did better. Just got to improve in certain type of certain steps, like throwing wild punches, fighting all fighting all out balance. He got to prove stuff like that when he before he fights Anthony Joshua because if he don't, he's gonna get knocked out. But Anthony Joshua is a complete boxer. He gonna he gonna he gonna look at some of them films that Deontay Wilder had. Especially the one when he don't have to fight RT. And like Deontay was out of all thirty nine of thirty eight thirty nine of Deontay's fights before tonight, he have never fought the way he fought tonight. He fought like real terrible. He fought terrible tonight. Like he didn't even fight like Deontay Wild. He fought like real wild. Like he was coming up for the knockout, like he was trying to knock him out. And he was he was fighting wild. He was fighting off balance. He wasn't fighting like Deontay Wild. Actually Deontay Wild did we Normally, see with the with the power, the with the great jab. The normal Deontay Wilder, we see he come in with great one twos and great, you know what I'm saying, double jabs. We don't normally see him just coming out with wild right hand, wild 
left hands and stuff like that. He, he normally come in going to Ray Punch, but he did the night. Okay. Well, appreciate you calling I mean, me, Charles, wrong, man. If I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, if I'm wrong, do you understand me? If I'm, if I'm incorrect, I mean, I feel like I'm gonna I'm, be honest, man. You, you, like you, 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 I, you're reaching, been, man. You're, you're reaching for Wilder because I know, I know you're a big Deontay Wilder fan, so you know, I expect that coming from you. But I'm gonna be honest with you, you reaching right now tonight, bro, because a lot of people are going to agree agree with me on this one but i'm gonna I'm open up the phone lines for other people to get an opportunity to call in but i do appreciate you calling in and stepping by champ good luck on your next fight and uh go ahead and bring back that title to mississippi appreciate it all right guys uh that was interesting that was in that was interesting to me because <laughs> These, this is what I was talking about when I was saying Deontay Wilder fans. <laughs> what are gonna, what's gonna be their excuse now, given the fact that Wilder faced a real, true, quality opponent, and he looks shaky. Although he got the victory, but as shaky as this guy looked in this fight, if that was Anthony Joshua in that seventh round, this fight is over with. This fight is over with. Even if it's Anthony Joshua, even if it's Anthony Joshua in, in the ninth round, right? In the ninth round, this fight is over with. But the phone lines are open, 770-742-6609. Please call in, give your opinion and your thoughts on the fight, what it is that you may have seen happen in the fight. If you are an Anthony Joshua fan and, and you want to make some noise, the, the door is open. The opportunity is here for you to call in. And make noise. The opportunity is here for Deontay Wilder fans to come and, and back back up Deontay Wilder based upon what it is we saw tonight. And those of you who are Luis Ortiz fans, and pick Luis Ortiz. Luis Ortiz, to me, showed tonight that he's still in the running in, in, in the heavyweight division. That he's no slouch. He put up, he gave us the performance that we all wanted. That we all needed. In the heavyweight division that we all wanted to see Wilder face. He gave us that. He was landing shots. He was countering every single thing that Deontay Wilder was throwing. We got another caller calling in. Yo, what's up? State your name. Where you from? It's Chisholm, man, from Chicago. Chisholm from Chicago. What's happening, bro? What you think about the fight, man? Man, wasn't it wasn't Wilder's best fight, but it was definitely his best opponent that he's ever faced. And as far as Joshua is concerned, I believe that uh, Wilder take Joshua and actually knock him out within six rounds. You know, uh, Joshua is improving to me. His chin is his chin is really nothing. If Wilder ever gains some real defense, he's gonna be a he's gonna be a problem for anybody he ever plays. So you think? Hello. You think Wilder knocks out Joshua in a, in the first six rounds, based upon what we saw tonight? From Deontay Wilder. Hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. So, so you think Deontay Wilder knocks out Anthony Joshua based upon what it is we've seen tonight from him? Well, I'm basing my um, opinion on all of the fights that I've seen of Wilder and all of the fights I've seen of Joshua. Okay. Joshua only fought one person, and that was Klitschko. Klitschko was way past his prime, plus I think Klitschko has always been a bum, who only, um, he was just the biggest guy in the ring. He hit and then he hold. Joshua doesn't hit and hold. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, Wilder doesn't hit and hold. 
brothers just don't have good defense. He has a, a good, solid punch stuff. And I, I do believe that Joshua doesn't stand a chance against Wilder. You know, right. he doesn't have a good chin. And Klitschko, Klitschko proved, you know, fight with Klitschko proved that. But the heavyweight division isn't, uh, they don't have a, a lot of quality. You know, at all. Actually, tonight, heavyweight fight is the best heavyweight fight I've seen in years. You don't and think it was kind of garbage. You don't. You don't think the uh, no. the Klitschko fight was a was a really good fight with 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 Joshua? No, I believe that Klitschko, who is like I said, Klitschko to me is not has never been a good heavyweight. He's just a big dude who has hit and hold. That was Klitschko's best fight, and he lost. Joshua, you know, didn't beat up Klitschko. Joshua knocked out an old man who was far past his prime. So, do, you know, what, so Klitschko has never been anything. So let me ask you this. You know, he, let go me, ahead, brother. Let me ask you this. So you say that that Wilder, I mean, Joshua knocked out an old Klitschko past his prime. What do we consider Luis Ortiz? Because Luis Ortiz is an older opponent. He's pa- he's way I'm, past his prime. Let's, he's he, Ortiz is past his prime, but he was able to still put on a really good performance against a guy who was quicker, who had who was more elusive, and had more power. As we I guess as we saw in this fight, and he still was able to go ten rounds. Does that not give Joshua a, a a a feeling as if, well, you know what? If I could take some shots like Luis Ortiz took, I'm pretty sure if I'm able to land a right hook like Luis Ortiz landed a right hook that that pretty much changed everything in the seventh round. Does 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 Deontay Wilder not go down, bro? He goes down if he takes a right hook from Joshua. Listen, my opinion, like I said, I believe that Ortiz would have beat Joshua. I mean, one, Joshua does, Josh, uh, Joshua, he's a good fighter, don't get me wrong. I just doesn't, I don't believe that Joshua, I don't even believe that uh, Joshua would have beat uh, the dude named the Dreads, Servine or whatever the case may be. I don't even see him being Remains to burn? If Klitschko knocked him down, to burn. I don't believe that Joshua would have beat to burn. And Wilder destroyed the man in two fights. Both fights. I don't, Joshua can't take a punch, man. He cannot take a punch. What do you really know about Joshua? I know that. The guy's been fighting in the UK and you say what? I know that he defeated he defeated Charles Martin. He defeated Dylan White. He defeated uh, Klitschko. He defeated uh, like nobody. We talking we talking about the heavyweight division. The heavyweight division is full of bums. I'm not. I'm by no means am I saying that Wilder is a great heavyweight. He isn't. But he is definitely the best heavyweight out now and today. And none of these guys uh, would be anyone from, you know, the last decade of heavyweight fighters. The heavyweight division is garbage. <laughs> Although this was the best heavyweight fight that I've seen. Tonight was the best heavyweight fight I've seen in years. I believe that there's some um, light heavyweights that would give some of these heavyweights of, of today a, a real fight. You know, the, the day of uh, boxing in the heavyweight division is all about just being tall. A bunch of damn jabs. Nobody really has any damn defense anymore. It's just a bunch of jabbing. A bunch of jabbing. And it works for Wilder in today's heavyweights because that's what he does. 
he does have a good punch. He has absolutely no defense, and he has a great jab. He's probably one of the better jabbers I've seen in the heavyweight division since Larry Holmes. Nowhere, he's nowhere near Larry Holmes as far as his jab, but he's probably one of the better jabbers that I've witnessed since Larry Holmes in the heavyweight division. Well, all right, Chisholm, bro. You know, I, I can't even give Klitschko, I can't even give Klitschko any props with his jab because every time Klitschko do, threw a jab, I mean, the man, his arms were long as hell. He could throw, he could throw a jab from you know the damn parking lot, and it's gonna land against these little short guys he was fighting, and then he would immediately grab. Joshua doesn't do that. Nor does Wild. So that's why I believe that Joshua doesn't stand a chance. Plus, Joshua Chin is suspect. He proved that with, against Klitschko. His chin is very suspect. And that's what's up. Uh, does he have better defense? He has better defense than Wilder. However, Wilder's jab is going to get through that defense. He's going to knock the leg young guy out within six rounds well okay bro i appreciate you calling in we're going to get to the pick. next callers we're going to get to the next callers but uh i respect your opinion and um hopefully you know we're able to uh see what happens between wilder and uh joshua if we're able to get that fight all right brother all right have a good one um that was interesting that that was interesting. Uh, back to the task at hand. Uh, Deontay Wilder again. You know, Joshua's getting no love so far. Joshua's getting no love so far. But uh, our next caller is on the line. Yo, state your name and where you from. Yeah, yeah, this is Mike from Florida, Tampa, Florida. What's happening, Mike? From Tampa? Okay. We're going to go back. I told you last week, he was coming off that run, and he would gas out halfway through that fight. That's exactly what I saw happen. He gas out, <clears throat> let him back in the fight. He should have finished him. Wilder, I feel like he played cautious the first six rounds, way too cautious. Defense was horrible. He needs to put some weight on those legs. He had straight up welterweight legs in that fight. Maybe even smaller. I think Pacquiao got bigger legs than him. Um, you know, right now, honestly, it, it, it's a pick em between him and Joshua. My problem with Joshua is he's been coming in too heavy. All them weights, I think, are killing him. And uh, Clisco, come on, he, he ran out of stamina after what, five rounds? After five rounds, it took him four rounds to recover. But, Klitschko just couldn't pull that trigger and finish him. But in that fight with Klitschko, fighting, though, both of them were just, at that spot. You don't think that both of them was kind of throwing throwing, uh, throwing uh, shots, you know, more than what we saw in the first four, four or five rounds between Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder? Because in the first beginning of the fight, they wasn't throwing any punches, which which allowed them to be able to make it to to uh, the deeper rounds in in, in in the matchup. It was the fact that they both was not really throwing anything at all, but I think in the Klitschko-Anthony Joshua fight, they both were throwing shots early on to where they was trying to go for the kill early. But I, I just got a question. Why is it that if, if do you think, honestly, do you think that if Deontay Wilder caught a right hook from Anthony Joshua like he took that right hook from Luis Ortiz, do Joshua still, I mean, do, do Wilder still last in that fight? That's just the, that's the question of the day. Well, the thing is, it, it showed that he can, he knows how to survive a fight in this fight. So he was very sloppy, took some great shots from Ortiz, and he was able to regroup, stay away, stab. He got tired. 
plain and simple. And that's the same thing that happened with Joshua. Joshua attacked Klitschko. He got tired after five rounds. It took him four rounds to recover. That's why I say it's, it's a pick up fight between both of these guys because if Joshua gets tired, he might dominate Wilder in the beginning of the fight. But if he gets tired, Wilder's not going to let him and recover. He's going to jump on him. Klitschko didn't jump on him. But Wilder would finish it a situation like that. At the same time, you know, while these people are so suspect that, you know, this guy could actually drop him a couple of times. Not saying that he's going to hurt him. But he could catch him off guard and drop him just on point for that. But I just think he's got to drop down some weight, stay off some of that lifting, and, and then it'll be a closer fight. But I, I personally think Joshua, his stamina problems is to hurt him somewhere down the road. And it might hurt him against Wilder. That's what's up, man, Mike. Man, I appreciate you uh, calling in, and uh, hopefully we're able to to see what happens on March thirty first, and we hopefully we'll be able to get that matchup between Deontay Wilder and uh, Anthony Joshua um, by the end of the year. Man. I don't see it. I don't see it happen at least for another year or two. And you know, I, I just don't. I think it's looking like. Joshua's going to fight this guy, beat him, looking like he's going to fight that uh, that big guy, that heavy, I forgot his name. Tyson Fury? That, the big fat dude. <laughs> Tyson Fury. Yeah, that's who you're talking about. All right, man, appreciate that's it for calling Davis. in, man. Yeah, Big Baby Davis. <laughs> he's my Big Baby Davis. <laughs> that's what he looked like. <laughs> All right, state your name. Where you from? Hey, man, what's going on, man? This is Paul from uh, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Oh, uh, Philly in the building. What's happening? Hey, too much, brother. What's going on? Oh, man, cooling, man. So what, what's your thoughts on the fight, man? I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to hearing this. Philly, no boxing. Hey, man, listen. Listen, man. Uh, it was a good fight. Um, Joshua, I mean, not Joshua, but uh, Wilder, uh, Wilder, Wilder looked pretty good. Um, but as far as uh, Ortiz, he fought. Uh, I seen him fight better fights. You know, um, he looked uh, looked like he got a little tired in the uh, sixth round. Um, he would have finished anybody else who hasn't been hurt in other fights. You uh, remember when he fought uh, Bob Jennings, Brian Jennings. Um, Brian Jennings was on the come up, right. coming off of a um, controversial uh, loss to Klitschko when. Uh, when uh, Ortiz got him, so I mean Ortiz to me, you know, I, 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 if you look at it, I think he was just maybe I'm not gonna put a blame on him being a little older, you know. I think he just uh, he looked like he ran out of gas to me a little bit. Josh, I mean um, Wilder, you know, he um, he he looked pretty decent as far as I mean, and he was just looking for a one punch shot like he always does, and he, and you know he he landed it, you know what I mean? Landed it, got him hurt, you know. Uh, he has a pretty decent chin. I mean, you know, we've seen him buckle before in other fights, but as far as Joshua and beating Joshua, I just don't, uh, I just don't see it, man. When you just look at the comparisons of uh, how they fight and uh, how I think that Joshua's more technically, technically sound than uh, Wilder is. Better foot movement, you know what I mean, head movement, and everybody out here talking about his chin. I'm sitting here like, man, he caught a, a, a temple shot. If you know boxing, Temple shot is worse than a chin shot in boxing. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, that's a, that's a shot. If you, you know, you don't see a temple shot coming. You know, you get clipped. I mean, it's over. You look at that fight with him and Klitschko. He landed a good temple shot on Joshua. And Joshua ate it, got up, got it himself, came back and beat him. You know, they want to say uh, Klitschko's, what, 41, 40, 41, something like that. I mean, it's, it, Klitschko still was, was a reigning champ for a long time. The last against uh, really not with the boy in fight, but that's pure pure fights that had. He's an active dude. But um, when it comes to you know, let's go be um, dominating that division for years. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely, um, yeah, I, style, I you know, agree. Let me ask you this question though: If Joshua, I'm gonna ask everybody who 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 calls this question. If Joshua was to land that right hook that Ortiz landed on Deontay Wilder that had him pretty much plummet 
throughout the entire round, and it seemed as though it, it could have been, if it was 10 more seconds, Deontay Wilder was going to taste the canvas. If that was Joshua who landed that shot, do Deontay Wilder still last in the fight? I don't think so. I mean, I think I think uh, yeah, Joshua has a better. Joshua's a little, like I said, he's technically sound, man. Um, I think he lands a little bit more crisper shots in that round than uh, Ortiz did. Yeah, I think Joshua's the same height. He maybe just a little couple inches shorter than uh, than Deontay Wilder. You feel me? Right. Um, and you know the reach advantage is different too. You know Ortiz got a shorter reach advantage. All those stuff, all those things come into play. But if he lands that shot on, on Wilder. Yeah, I, I mean, I think that fight's over in that round. You know what I'm saying? That's Absolutely. my personal opinion, but, you know, people have their different opinions. I mean, I just look at what I, I see what I see, and I just go by what, you know, I've been watching boxing for over 35 years, so, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just what I see, but. Hey, listen, I mean, listen, bro. Any If anybody from Philly who I know, like you say, been watching boxing for a long period of time, I respect your opinion because Philly, y'all know boxing. And, and the best boxing yeah, come from yeah. come from come from Philly fighters. So, and that's just being Absolutely. real. Absolutely, yeah. But yeah. but I appreciate you yeah, calling we, we in, man. Let me, we let me jump in. Right, absolutely, man. Well, I'll tell you what, thanks, thanks for all having me, man. You know, ah, uh, most definitely, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you again in the show. We're gonna move on and open up the phone lines for other callers. <laughs> But guys, it's another fight that took place on tonight. And I know a lot of people, you know, want to get way in on what happened with this fight in particular. But Andre Durrell got Molly Wap tonight. <laughs> Andre Durrell got destroyed. I never seen a guy in Andre Durrell who is, to me, one of the best fighters who did not you know, become a world champion, albeit he did become a champion the first time that these guys fight, that they fought. But it was due to, you know, bad circumstances, shot that a lot of people said, you know, landed after the bell. To me, I just think he was in the middle of a combination. And when you practice throwing combinations for a long period of time, especially to this magnitude when you get in the program, you know, your 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 hands are just moving. They're in autopilot. And I believe he caught Darrell, you know, while he was in autopilot. And uh, albeit it all came together in the second fight. And boy, did Jose, did not did he not put on a hell of a performance? Does this not make this guy a threat now in the division? He's a threat now. I never seen a guy in Andre Darrell, any of the Darrell brothers, any of them. Get whooped like this, and 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 I heard Virgil Hunter was just sitting right there. Hey, I'm gonna stop the fight. I heard him say it about 22 damn times. He was screaming to stop the fight. But the fact that it didn't happen, dude. I mean, it was a hell of a fight to me. It was a hell of a fight, but I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody want to get back to uh, Deontay Wilder and Luis Ortiz, but man, it, it was just some parts of me in this fight. I really felt like Luis Ortiz was going to pull it off. I mean, it was like, man, Anthony Joshua is about to go down and it is not going to be pretty and it, it's about to be over. You know what I mean? I'm sitting and I'm like, oh, snap. Like you ever been like on the edge of your seat and like a movie? Shit was almost playing out like a movie, right? Because I'm looking at Deontay Wilder's face, and it's looking like, <laughs> or murder she wrote. But he was able to last. And and I'm sure a lot of fans of Deontay Wilder are going to sit here and uh, and say, you know, he, he got through it, and he did what he was supposed to do, which he did. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. He got through it. He defeated Luis Ortiz who everybody said was going to give him a tough test, and it was a tough test. But to me, he has to do a whole lot better as he continues to move on in the month of March. And, well, in March Madness, I'll put it like that, because this, this is March Madness. It's March Madness, right? 
we in the doggone what? This is the what? Mm. We got about twenty something more days before we get the 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 Joshua fight, which I know everybody is 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 going to be in an uproar with that fight. But we in March Madness, and Deontay Wilder, he did his job tonight. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. Damn, but I just feel bad for Luis Ortiz, man. I just felt like he was about to pull it off. Let's go to the comment section. What are y'all talking about in the comment section? I mean, Timothy said, Jose looked masterful tonight. He smothered Darrell. Lead right hand was devastating. Hey, dude. The lead right hand that Jose, look, here's a perfect shot of that lead right hand that Tim was talking about. When I tell y'all that lead right hand was landing all night long on Darrell, it was, his head was snapping back like he was in a Rocky movie. Shit, you know, you remember when Rocky was taking jabs, taking lead right hands from Apollo Creed and the head just kept snapping back? That's what we were seeing tonight with Darrell and Jose. I kid you not. Darrell could not get anything going. It, and, and it seemed as though like when Darrell was throwing throwing punches, the shit wasn't hurting Jose. Because I think Jose knew that he was doing a really good job in the first fight. Because he was catching steam later on in the fight. I think he picked right back up where he left off. Dude picked right back up where he left off. 202-556-9365. You on the line. State your name and where you from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This out of sight right from Southeast DC. What's happening, bro? DC in the building. I, I don't want to talk about the fight, man. Let's go. Let me know what your thoughts were on the fight. Huh? I said, let me know what your thoughts were on the fight. Are you there? Hello? Are you there? Yeah, I'm here, brother. How you doing? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here, brother. Oh, okay. So what are your thoughts on the fight? Yeah, I, I just want to... Well, I, I think it was an excellent performance. Uh, I, I thought that both men performed well. Uh, like, I, like I told everybody, my name. Your account balance is running low. You can talk up to five minutes. Hey, we can fight. Uh, I think Wilder needed that fight to get tested. I know what he got, you know what I'm saying? I told everybody that, that he, he can, once he touched Wilder, he going to wobble. But when you see Wilder did a whole lot of grabbing the hole, which was smart, which was part of the game. But, uh, you know, that fight went 10 rounds deep, man. So... Good performance by both of them. And then you see why everybody, that, that's why Eddie Hearn didn't let um, King Kong fight AJ when he had it. Because, you know, Eddie Hearn had King Kong for, like, for about three fights. Then cut him loose. Right. Yeah. But, uh, like I said, uh, I think personally, even though what, the last five, six fights, Wilder looked sloppy, I think he need to get rid of Mark Breeden, man. So I was training about put his punches together. But, you know, he's still kind of wild and awkward. I think Wild was getting over by his power getting him over. You know but do you, do, you but, but no, do you think Wild is going to change that? Do you think Wild is going to be able? Do you think Wild is going to change his style even if he leaves Breland? I think what Wilder is is what Wilder is, especially this far in his career. So. Yeah, 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 but but you still can see some flaws in his game. But if he fight AJ, I think he'll knock AJ out because I don't I don't think AJ is polished enough to beat Wild. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it it ain't no no skilled big man like like a Lynx Lewis type in the game like that, man. But the you know, Wilder, so I see his offense can get him over. Because it ain't no real threat to the heavyweight right now. You feel me? Oh, I feel, I feel you. I feel you. Let me ask you this question. If Wilder was to take that shot that he took uh, from Luis Ortiz in the seventh round, that right hook, if that was Joshua landing that right hook, do you think Wilder lasts in his fight? 
yeah, yeah, but if you if you remember about three or four fights ago when he was in Alabama, uh, I think well, what's his guy name down there who who walked had a uh, Wilder on Queer Street? What's the name? Delina or Du Hoppers? One of them guys they had Wilder on Queer Street down there, but they ain't know how to finish Wilder. Right. You remember that? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. So 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 you know I see see, see I seen King Kong fight live, and he do got some thunder, and you seen it tonight. Yeah, he do got some thunder. <laughs> you know, but... <laughs> but let Deontay yeah, Wilder yeah, say yeah, yeah. it. Let Deontay Wilder say it. Wilder said that, uh, you know, none of his punches had any zing to it, so it didn't affect him in any kind of way, which I I, I think Wilder was kind of okay. lying right there. Oh, uh, 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 yeah, 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 you know, fighters going to say that, 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 that just like Bernard Hoffman said, the guy pushed him out the ring, but he got knocked out. You know, fighters going to say that. Right, you're right. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I, I, I just want to comment on that fight, and that fight was everything that it lived up to be. You know what I'm saying? Everything that it hyped it up to be. So it was a good fight. You know? it was, man. And I'm uh, but but <clears throat> go ahead. Yeah, 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 yeah. That fight was everything was supposed to be. Uh, uh did, so did you see the HBO fight when Kevin Moreira got knocked out? Yep. Yeah, man, yeah, that was pretty uh, good night for boxing. And ho- hopefully, um, you know, uh, just like I told guys on my job, uh, Al Heyman ran out of bums, man. So, so the feet is guys. So, you know, PBC guys, they got to fight each other, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and this and this was a good fight right here for us, you know. You know so, um, you know, uh, everything looking up, man. Boxing. That's what's Your up, account bro. balance is running low. You can talk up to one minute. Yeah. Well, so, uh, that, that's all I want to say. I, I just want to say my little two cents, and uh, I'm glad to be um, glad to be on the show, man. Thanks a lot. Oh man, thank thank you for calling in. All right, thanks a lot. Right, I'm out. All right, big bro. March Madness. And I'm, 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 I'm really looking forward to seeing who who else is going to be, you know, giving up an opinion. I'm looking for the, the uh, I'm looking for an opinion that's going to really truly make me feel as though like everything it is that Deontay Wilder brings to the table is is what's going to really take over the heavyweight division really take over i I understand i know that the right hand of deontay wilder is powerful we've seen it tonight but the thing is if that right hand don't don't hurt well anybody or let it's gonna hurt somebody but put it like this if they last in the fight, and they're able to be technical with Deontay Wilder. All you have to do is be technical. If Luis Ortiz would have went to the body more, he would have been in 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 great position in order to win. I think it was times that he had Deontay Wilder on the ropes to where he really controlled the fight. He really could have controlled the fight. He really could have taken Wilder to to places that Wilder never been before, and that's really gasping for air deep into these championship rounds all he had to do was go to the body more forget the head go to the body if you attack the body the head was going to come the head was going to come all he had to do was attack the body if you're anthony joshua and you're watching this fight that lets you know if, if you're taking on a guy in deontay wilder you if you get him on the ropes anytime you get him on the ropes Attack the body. Attack the body. That's all you have to do. But, but but you know, I'm not seeing anything that anybody else is saying that is uh, different besides the simple fact that, you know, Joshua doesn't have a chin. 
If Joshua don't have a chin, do y'all think that Joseph Parker could knock out Anthony Joshua? Given the fact that Joshua doesn't have a chin, does jokes how how does that raise the the, the the chances for Joseph Parker now? Because I'm hearing a lot of people say, you know, Joshua don't have a chin, and and Wilder, you know, will make easy work of him, quick work of him. Paul Doak say AJ will solve the puzzle. To me, I don't even think it's a puzzle. I think it's just something that simple. Attack the body, and you land a solid shot. Like Luis Ortiz was able to land a solid shot. But Wilder being, you know, <laughs> all over, you know, Wilder was just smothering him, you know, because Wilder was just like leaning on him like, bro, like you caught me like I'm praying to God that I don't fall and hit the ground with those little legs taking on a guy and AJ who is a, I mean, dude, AJ punch versus Luis Ortiz punch. AJ has the hardest punch. He has the hardest punch. He punched the hardest. He's the bigger guy. He's stronger. He's younger. He's fresh. He has the stronger punch. All I'm saying is, is if that punch lands on Deontay Wilder, Wilder will be sleep. Wilder will be sleep. That's all I'm saying. Paul say AJ will make it look easy against Wilder, bro. Bro. I I agree. That's if he does what Ortiz wasn't able to do. And that's go to the body. You have to attack the body of Deontay Wilder. And and, and guess what? Deontay Wilder is going to respect Anthony Joshua just like he respected. It wasn't. I don't even think that Deontay Wilder was really truly like trying to look for that one shot. I think it was more so that he was really respecting what Luis Ortiz was bringing to the table because he was really truly afraid that if he get caught with a shot, he was going to taste the canvas. He knew that it was an opportunity of that happening. And it's going to be the same as that way. If he fight Anthony Joshua, if he fight Anthony Joshua, it's going to be the same as that way. He's going to have respect for Anthony Joshua, but what AJ is going to have to do, cut the ring off. You catch him in the corner on the ropes. Cause he's going to back up on the ropes. He's going to back in him, himself into a corner. Deontay Wilder don't have any ring generalship and really truly knows exactly where he is in the ring. You heard his corner telling him, stay away from the ropes. Stay away from the ropes. Every time Ortiz gets you on the ropes, he, 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 he goes off in punches. He throws punches in bunches. Stay off the ropes. I'm just saying, we, we, we got to, we, we got to, uh, Look at it from a real big picture here. If these two guys were to fight. But like I asked, does Joseph Parker now has much more of a chance to defeat Anthony Joshua based upon everybody saying tonight that Joshua just don't have a chin and he hasn't faced anybody? Well, if that's the case, what what do you all say about Joseph Parker? Because Joseph Parker is a real big quality opponent. Joseph Parker is a good good fighter Mario say AJ will beat him I agree if he he'll beat him if he had if he beat him he'll have to beat him by knockout if it go to the scorecards I feel as though uh AJ will get the decision but Parker will be probably robbed if it goes if it goes the distance cause Joseph Parker man Parker, Parker, let, we're gonna go, we're gonna do a film study with just Joseph Parker. We're gonna do a film study with Joseph Parker, and we're gonna do a film study with Anthony Joshua. We're gonna go back to the Klitschko fight. We whatever fight, whatever y'all say in the comment section of what what fight it is you want. What is what is the Joseph Parker fight that you want to do a film study on? What is the Anthony Joshua fight that you want to do a film study on? We just saw what Deontay Wilder did in, with Luis Ortiz. We don't need to do no film study on Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder is Deontay Wilder. But what fight from Joseph Parker that you want to see? The Hero Fury? I mean, which, which one do you want to see from Joseph Parker? And which one do you want to see from An Anthony Joshua? We're going to get back to doing these fight uh these fight uh, shows, these STEM film sessions, 
so that we'll be able to see exactly what happens and we'll be able to translate that to to an actual fight because a lot of people who are who are the casuals and and not the, the true hardcore fans they they don't they don't watch Joseph Parker they don't know anything about Joseph Parker in a lot of people hardly know anything about Anthony Joshua and what Anthony Joshua brings to the table as far as his boxing um ability is concerned everybody want to talk about you know Klitschko being 41 years old and and him being old but guess what? Just because he's old, <laughs> just because he was 41 years old, dude, like Klitschko, they was dominating the heavyweight division for over 10 years, 10 plus years. After Lennox Lewis left, it was all Klitschko's after that. It was all Klitschko's after that. And it, it, of course, it was a matter of time before they took losses, but those guys, they remained in shape. They took care of their bodies. Waterman took care, took care of his body. He was in phenomenal shape for him to be that age. And, in, and they're great fighters. They're great fighters. So I, I just don't see how we can't buy into what it is that Anthony Joshua done. And, and what's so good about Anthony Joshua that I like is the fact that that guy tasted the canvas before. And he showed the heart that it takes in order to come back and win a fight. He showed that he had that. Deontay Wilder goes down in his fight. The, um, I, the level of embarrassment. You know what I'm saying? The level of embarrassment. The way he was about to go down, if Ortiz was able to, to finish or had just 10 more seconds in, in that seventh round, Wilder would have been like, you know, flopping on the ground. I'm talking about where his legs was will be dangling and all kind of stuff. Cause the way he just his body just he did y'all not see how loose the guy was? It wasn't like he was just, you know, in control of 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 his body when Ortiz caught him with a shot. Ortiz was in much more control throughout this whole fight in its entirety. He was in much more control. I had Ortiz winning like six out of the ten rounds, and then the knockdown in the uh, the knockdown in the the what what was that the fifth round for Deontay Wilder gave him you know two more points, and then we saw what happened at the end after that. But if you ask me, if this fight goes the distance and go twelve rounds, even with the knockdown in the fifth round, you still have to give that fight to Luis Ortiz. You still have to give him that fight. So if you're Anthony Joshua, you're thinking, oh, I got, if I can make it to 12 and, and I be more active, just like Luis Ortiz was more active, Deontay Wilder was respecting him early on. Dude, the dude has a chance to win. I'm sorry. He has a chance. Timothy said Joshua didn't throw a wild uppercut out of nowhere. Waterman was get, getting rid of him. Hey, but that uppercut landed so perfect. I think somebody did, whoever it was, I don't know. But, you know, people be doing these boxing memes, and the Internet is undefeated, right? But that 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 uppercut, it landed so perfect. It went wild, bro, because it landed, like, so perfect. You know what I mean? To where, like, the neck. Of Klitschko scene. If that was anybody else's neck, that shit would have been broke. <laughs> it would have been broke. Straight up. It would have been broke. So, I, I mean. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Is this Deontay Wilder? Do y'all really think Deontay Wilder feeling like a rock star after the night? I think he is. I think the guy feeling like a rock star. He feeling like he he can't be stopped. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, Anthony Joshua's coming. Joshua's coming, man. That Joshua Joseph Parker fight is going to be another fight that's going to be highly anticipated. And everybody's going to be tuning in to that fight. What is going to be the numbers after this 
Deontay Wilder Luis Ortiz match. I think, you know, everybody came out to see these two heavyweights go with it. And they put on a phenomenal show. People, if you if you pay for Showtime, Showtime is giving us everything we can have as a boxing fan, everything we can ask for. Everything we can ask for. You know what I'm saying? The next following week, we get in Mikey Garcia versus uh Lipinitz. And then Julius and Dongo. You know what I'm saying? He's he's back in the ring trying to capture a 140-pound title. Uh shout out to Steven Espinosa, man. They are killing the game right now. HBO gotta step the game up. They gotta step the game up. It, it, but but you know, I'm I'm excited as a boxing fan. I'm I'm excited. This is everything it is that we want. This is everything it is that we've asked for as a boxing fan. And albeit the fights are going to happen. We have to allow things to take its take its place, run its course. The politics can't be too much involved. But I think even even the people who are behind the politics in boxing want to see the fights that we all want to see. We all want to see Keith Thurman in the ring against, you know, Errol Spence. That's if Keith Thurman can last against Sean Porter again. That's if Danny Garcia is able to, you know, show something different if they were to go at it. Or if Danny was to fight Sean Porter and Danny knocks out Sean Porter and then takes on Keith Thurman and knocks out Keith Thurman. We just don't, we don't know. But Spence is waiting. He takes on Ocampo in June 16th in Dallas. We're going to be there at that fight live. It's, it's going down, man. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this thing is going to happen and take place as boxing pan out in 2018. JSN Boxing is on the road, man. Road work will continue. Uh, I'm going to be dropping. I'm going to be dropping uh, status of the next fighter. We're going to be on the road. Um hitting to we was just with carlos jackson he's getting ready to fight for the wbc uh title he's going to he's going to the dominican republic to fight for this title in particular but it, it, it you know you got a lot of up-and-coming fighters man who doing a really good job then we got golden gloves here in georgia march 23rd through the 25th i'm looking forward to the golden gloves because you got some young talent that's going to be there as well so Hey, somebody just said Spence Crawford, hopefully. Hey, if we get Spence Crawford, and I said this, we could go back to one of the shows. I think it was about three shows ago where I said, this is how it should all pan out. Errol Spence, go ahead and take care of his mandatory in Ocampo, right? Jeff Horn, Terrence Crawford, go with it. Crawford beats Jeff Horn, Right? That gives us December as an open date. There's going to be an open date somewhere in December. Because Spence said he wants to fight three times this year. So the third fight could be perhaps him unifying with Terrence Crawford. Now, how fast will Bob Arum and, and, and those boys put Crawford in with a guy like Errol Spence? I don't think they'll do it too fast because, hell, they've been hesitant with with the Manny Pacquiao situation when it came to Terrence Crawford. I don't even think they give him Errol Spence, but there's an opportunity for him and Spence to fight at the end of the year. Because, hell, after Crawford fights in April, he got, I mean, December, why not lock in those dates? Go ahead and, and let Crawford, Spence, you go ahead and unify with Crawford. And then you let whatever the WBC and Mauricio Suleiman done put together as far as Danny and Sean Porter, you know, Sean Porter being the actual mandatory. But then since Keith is taking a, a, a tune up, then we get Danny and Sean Porter fighting. And then the winner out of that face, Keith Thurman, then whoever comes out of that gets the winner of Crawford Spence. Why we can't have a margin, you know what I'm saying? Why we can't have a, a, a madness in the welterweight division as it pertains to that? But I don't think they're ready to throw Crawford in the fire with those guys yet. I don't think so. I think they're just gonna try to throw the lower the lower level competition guys at, at Crawford once he gets this title with Jeff Horn. Because I don't think Crawford is going to step right there in the competition with with 
Errol Spence, Danny, and any of those boys. Not at all, period. I, I just don't think they're going to do that. That's, but, you know, that's that's just me, you know, but I'm not a promoter. <laughs> I don't know. But it just how how they operate. And if you try to think like how they operate, that's kind of like, you know, what could be a money grab for the whole entire 2018. And then that sets us off for 2019 with one of the biggest fights of the year. A big time unification, unification bout for all the marbles in 2019. We got to clear some of the smoke in some of the gray areas in 2018 because it's, it's just too many in the welterweight division. But, you know, it, it, it's interesting. It's interesting to see how this thing is going to pan out. It's interesting to see. But recap of tonight, Andre Durrell got Molly Watt. <laughs> I can't even believe that it, it happened to this magnitude, but this is the shot that was landing all night on Darrell and boy it was bad it was bad and hopefully he's able to bounce back from that I know he has a heart of a heart of a lion and, and of a champion I just think it was a lot of chaos um as it pertains to his corner man it was just a lot of chaos in his corner but Deontay Wilder gets the victory against Luis Ortiz 10th round KO and hopefully we're able to pan out and see how things play in the month of March. But it's going down March 31st with Anthony Joshua taking on Joseph Parker. But, you know, hopefully, you know, it's, it, it all, you know, pan out for us. But this is Jeremy Sports Network, man. I'm not going to hold you all much longer. Thank you, everybody, for calling in and tuning in. We're going to get some doggone more, uh, some more donations coming in so we can keep them phone lines open. Y'all got to stop playing, man, and donate to the show. You know what I mean? Donate and help and, and, and let, this, let, let this thing grow, y'all. So we talking boxing, man. This is what we love to do. This is what we love to do. And this God's plan right here, this God plan for this thing to get even bigger, even better, even stronger in 2018. We here to take over JSN Boxing. The go-to boxing channel is about to be on full notice, man. And I'm telling y'all, my best friend, he posted something that, that stood out to me. And uh, those of you who follow me on Instagram at it's my time underscore 229, you're going to know exactly what it is that I'm talking about because uh, I reposted that. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like Tupac, man. I'm trying to secure the bag. I'm trying to secure the bag. I don't want to be working for nobody else. You feel me? I'm trying to secure the bag. I'm, I got to be a pimp, yo. I got to be a pimp. I got to be able to get it. Get out here and get it. You know what I'm saying? So the little bit that Ness gave me, I'm going double up and double up and double up and keep doubling up. You know what I'm saying? Until we make this thing big. So, you know, I don't forget where I come from because it was the boxing voice who gave me my opportunity. So shout out to Nesta Gibbs, man. That's my boy, man. But I appreciate everything it is he done for me and got me up to this point right now. And we're going to continue to make this thing happen and move in 2018. But follow me on all major networks on social media. Twitter at Jeremy underscore sports. Facebook at Jeremy Sports Network. On Instagram at it's my time underscore 229. Those of you who do donate to the show, you will be getting merchandise from, well, you're in the drawing for merchandise from world champion Leo Santa Cruz, uh, female world champion Chris Cyborg, and Floyd Mayweather Sr., those who've all been a part of my growth here at Jeremy Sports Network. So, hey, hit me up in the DM. Whatever, whatever it is you want to donate to the show, we'll be gladly taken and appreciated. And I thank you all for tuning in on tonight. It's Jeremy Sports Network, man. We signing out. Peace.